Hey, you in town's back. All right, look here. I'm gonna be turning my head toward this uh, flat screen computer and reading some stuff. Bear with me with my head turned. I'm sorry if you don't like it. You just have to get over it. Okay, I'm talking about the oath of office. Two of the most neglected there is police work are the code of ethics and the oath of office. These two documents are the most important issues of truth and integrity in a police department and with the community it serves, okay? Listen to me, please. The code of ethics and the oath of office. Okay, what are ethics? Well, 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 let's talk about that for a minute. Mm-hmm. Let me, oh, oh, end time, scroll down a minute. And by the way, as I'm scrolling down, just remember this. One thing you can say about end time, I don't hide my face. No, I don't. I, 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 do, I do try to be discreet on where I live because I don't want to kill nobody before I need to. But having said that, uh, think about think about this. Think about this for just a minute. What about the code of ethics? What about the oath of office? Why don't we define it for a minute? Why don't we just even just just get in delve into it just a little bit? Okay? Now Ethics may be defined, even by philosophers of ethics have defined it in several different ways. My understanding of ethics is the belief that, that watch this. Now watch this. Okay. Go to Romans 13. End time did video after video on it. Okay. If the powers that be are ordained of God to look after and watch over and to, and to hold evil intact. But now I'm speaking rationally. I'm speaking with wisdom and understanding. I'm not speaking about the uh, the uh, Illuminati agenda. I'm speaking about what is code of ethics, what is the oath of uh, 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 oath of honor, and all that. Now watch, okay? If you believe that Romans 13, I'm talking to preachers and all, that government is put in there, and the and the and the trickle down effects of it, which would be all the way to local law enforcement, is for God put that government in there to what to hold evil down. To put the hammer down on evil. All right, watch this. Okay. My understanding of ethics is in the belief of God that drive that people to please God by doing good for others. Code of ethics. All right, now watch this. Here he says, as a parent, I've told my children they are not to put on this earth, put on this earth to please themselves, but to make other people's lives better. Okay. Wouldn't that be a great definition of ethics? Question for you. Well, what has that got to do with the police officer? You tell me what on earth is on the side of a lot of police cars to protect and serve. Okay, rip the crap off. Uh, better yet, take our friggin' tax dollars, take it to the body shop, same place you spent our tax dollars to have it put on, and have it took off. Okay, I know you're too sorry to take it off. And I'm not talking about every police officer. I've made my statement clear in my first parts of this series. But why don't you expose yourself for who you are? Because you don't have any ethics. You, 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 you're not wanting to do good. You're wanting to do evil, and, and you're led by evil. Yes, right, you bad apples that are giving the good apples a stench and causing them to rot. Let's move on. See, God is infinite and the creator of all understanding God is the most important goal in life. Aha. Those who understand God will desire good for others and behave ethically toward them. Let's move on. Okay. This one statement sums up the duty of a police officer to serve others and protect them from evil. Not to be the friggin' evil. With this in mind, ethics means to do good and what's right. Definitions of ethical behavior vary from generation to generation, from culture to culture. Generally, ethical behavior includes the following qualities. Ready for this? Hmm. Whether you're ready or not, here it comes, because I don't care whether you're ready or not. I'm fixed to put it in your face. Honesty, integrity, fairness, loyalty, kindness, courage, generosity, compassion, and doing good, doing right, and unselfishness. When people display, display these qualities, they are behaving ethically. Good God, have mercy. 
Woo, Lord have mercy, Mr. Murphy. Mm, 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 mm. Now, back on the earlier videos. Did that police officer display any ethical behavior? I'll give you three seconds to answer. One, two, three. Not no, but heck no. You know he didn't. Let's move on. There are three areas that have traditionally influenced people to do right, behave ethically, the family, the religion, and the government. Past tense now. That's right. Family, pure religion undefiled, and limited form of government that is by the people and for the people that work for the people get paid by the people. Not now, but in past tense form. Okay, what happened, y'all? What happened? I've made video after video after video to try to show you and tell you what is taking place and what is wrong. Oh, man. See, the family is the first social organization that children belong to and the one from which they receive their first and most important lessons on ethical behavior. For instance, I try to teach my sons and my daughters how to behave, how to behave and act and respect and yes sir and no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am, okay? The list goes on and on and on. I mean, never mind, let's move on. Never mind. Okay. Here we go. Ethics training for police officers. Ethics is a code of values that guides our choices and actions and determines the purpose of our courses of our lives. Ethics is not a written code or a credo. It is about what we do. Where does that come from? Southwestern Law Enforcement Institute. Ethics is the behavior or standard of conduct when dealing with others that reflects public trust attached to that police officer. Mm -hmm. Ethics concerns the study of right and wrong, duty, responsibility, personal character. Ethics is concerned with moral duty, what is morally right, and what is wrong, etc., etc. Police officers must be held to a higher standard of moral and ethical values than is expected from the average person. Police officers need the trust and respect of the public to perform their duties and responsibilities effectively. That's why it makes me so angry on these bad apples. Bring detriment and distrust by us for the community as a whole when it just keeps happening and keeps happening and keeps happening and they get put on paid leave. <sighs> Police officers need the trust and respect of the public to perform their duties and responsibilities effectively. This trust does not come without the officer knowing and understanding his sworn oath and code of conduct. Do the police officers really know what the oath means? I wonder. Sorry about the cheer cracking. It's just I forgot to put any WD on it. I've been in as much making videos. I guess I wore the oil off of it. But anyway. All police officers throughout this country must take a sworn oath before they are authorized to perform the duties of a law enforcement officer. Do you know that? Breaking news, baby. They're supposed to. Is the oath a superficial statement? Hmm. Made by our police officers without any understanding of what they are swearing to do? Hmm. Do they really know what the oath requires of them? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm beginning to think, and it goes it goes for politicians too, and I'm beginning to think that most of them, as well as politicians, they read the words without giving a rat's behind what it means, just so they can get their paycheck. Not all, but most nowadays. And, and the reason I say this is because they're actions. And actions speak louder than words any day of the week. Okay? And I can move on into some major stuff, but I won't. Video's out of time. I'll be back.